deafness. People think that those who are deaf are cursed by God. They never knew that anybody can become deaf at any time. There are two types of deafness. One, people who are born deaf, that is congenital deafness. Two, people who acquired deafness later in life. Those who are born deaf don't have language, but people who acquire deafness later in life have some language. Everybody is a potential handicap, but the level of occurrence can be caught if people are made to know about the causes of deafness. Causes of hearing loss varies in children and uh, adults. Poor management of illness, misuse of drugs during pregnancy, exposure to loud noise, like use of headphone, removing wax from the ear with sharp object slapping a child. Parents pass deafness to their children. That is hereditary deafness. Drinking of beer or alcohol and cigarette can cause deafness. Problem facing a deaf person are numerous. From lack of acceptance in the family and society. Marriage. Can you marry a deaf person? Job placement. Can you employ a deaf person? Education and discrimination. What if one of your children is deaf? The hearing counterpart should develop a positive attitude towards the deaf, knowing that deafness does not make them less human. We should be ready to accept them, to provide for them, defend them. Acceptance is the key word.
Good of you. Good. Good. We in this school don't only recognize excellence. We reward excellence. For this reason, she will be greatly rewarded. We have a gift for her. <laughs> Good. Oh! Lovely, lovely. Good. Thank you, thank you all, thank you, thank you. My life began as a body flower, full of beauty yet unseen. It slowly unfolded like the rising sun, in the beginning of a bright and lovely day I had. I had dreams, I had aspirations. Shadi, you are still awake. You're supposed to have slept by now. Look at the time. As a child, I was able to grow up and become a shining star. But alas, my maker never meant me for greatness. I had my first taste of life's unfair treatment when I was young. I had hardly settled down for lessons at school. That day, when some relatives came for me. Good morning, puppies. Good morning, ma. We are happy to see you, ma. God bless you, ma. Olola de, fola shade. My young mind was too inexperienced to understand the possible cause of such interruption.
were father compounded. When my father brought up a pregnant woman, whom he introduced as his wife and mother, just for ten months after my mother's death, this, this, you house. Shadi, Shadi. This is your This is your mommy. My new wife. Hmm? Let's go inside. Come and see the inside. <laughs> husband day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, where's our baby? Oh, Shani has taken her upstairs to sleep. She hated me from the beginning. I actually for me blessed after she had her son. And her friends added to my ministry in no small measure. My stepmother began feeling my pain in my tears. Are you okay? What is it again? Is that gay again now, Shade? She wanted to strangulate me. Shade? Again? Yes, now. In fact, I'm fed up. I'm fed up of all this.
and I did not answer. And I must have gone to the witch's corner for a meeting. that she's partially deaf. The left ear seems to be totally deaf, while the right ear still functions when the sound is very loud. Only when the sound is very loud. Yes, sir. She could tell that you called her name, but she didn't hear anything. Well, uh, we have to give a note to the parent. Mm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shadi, let her know that I'm talking to her. We will give you a note to your parents. Okay? I was so partially deaf. Good. And my parents did not know. How can anyone look at my kids and still claim that I got a merciful? I was giving her a letter for my parents. My father comes home late, so I gave the headmaster's letter to my hotel mother. Good afternoon, ma. My headmaster said I should give you. Can be completely answered. Mm. Prophet, sir. Yes. This is the balance. God. I hope it is complete. Mm. <laughs> the girl is now well to go. Uh, mm. Sir, when can we take her back? Tomorrow! You can't go with her now. Come for her tomorrow. I still have one more prayer to do. So that she can be totally free. But you can see that she's now okay. She's now okay. Mm. You can go. 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 <laughs> the torture continued. 
onto my little body could bear no more. What? I went back to school after a gruesome week with the prophet. The marks of affliction were evident all about me. You mean the father did this to her? This part is Oh, Shadi. Shadi. Oh, God. Shadi. Oh, what did she do to deserve this? How can the man be this wicked? Sir, do anything you can do to get me out of the house, please. Is this? Shadi, to your dad, eh? Shade, you are not a sorry case. God, God does not love me. No, I don't even want to hear it. God does not love me. Look, look at me. I cannot hear. I only hear with a hearing aid. I'm a product with defect in God's hands. People like me, the lame, the blind, the dumb, the imbeciles are all products with defects in God's hands. And you know that the manufacturer attaches little or no value at all to products with defects. I'm valueless in God's hands. That's why he abandoned me right from when I was a child. No, child. What you went through was enough to claim your life but god preserved you and i know he did it for a purpose he's mindful of you the psalmist attests to that he says what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou wastest him <laughs> shade please 
Stop engaging in prostitution. It saddens your maker. First Corinthians 6 verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Even God cannot blame me for this. His negligence made me a prostitute. The very day the headmaster confronted my father, he decided he had had more than enough of me. He took me to my uncle's place. That's my mother's younger brother. My uncle reluctantly took me in. He didn't even want to. But at the end of the day, he took me. Ah, that place was hell. No, 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 that hell called the home. I was roaming in the street in the middle of the night when a drunk man offered me shelter in his one-bedroom apartment. I even thought it was God sent. So I decided to accept the offer. Little did I even know that it was it was worse. man will lock me up day and night. He comes back late every night. This man will rape me. This man rapes me every night. men into the house to sleep with me. and he collected money in my presence. It was at that point that I decided that perhaps God wanted me to use my body for survival all along. And ever since then, I've been involved in this trade. Listen, Shadi. I have to go now. Why are you doing all this? The very first time you picked me up at the brothel, you promised to pay thrice of my fees. 
when I first saw you, I thought maybe you were an old lesbian or a widow seeking for fun. This is the fourth time that you are bringing me into your house to preach to me. You are nice. You are very nice indeed. The mother I never had. But there is nothing of value that God can get in my life anymore. I'm so far gone. to me, I've always cut across too many issues. First, that I was created with glory. Second, that God loves me. <laughs> oh. Now, I have three questions for you. First, If God loves me, why is it that I went through so much suffering and pain in my life? Second, how has my sufferings and pains reflected God's love for my life? And thirdly, what form of greatness could possibly comfort from a deaf person like me. In answer to your first question, Shadi, Moses and Jesus among others were destined for glory. But Satan tried all his possible best to cut their life short from birth. The greater your glory, the higher your challenges. Your tough experiences are indications of a very bright destiny. In answer to your second question, God's love has always been evident even in your trials, but Satan hindered you from noticing it. Have you ever think of how you managed to survive against all odds? That was God. Keeping watch over you, just 
as he did for Moses and Jesus during their periods of trials. In Psalms 27 verse 8, the Bible says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. That, my dear, was your experience. The summary of your entire life. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 says But God hath chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise But God hath chosen the weak things of this world to confound things which are mighty Moses was God's mouthpiece even as is Tamara Balaam's horse was used by God even as an animal. There are great deeds that God can run through you. Ah. Okay, Ma. Thank you. I've heard all you have said. I'll go and ponder on it. Now is the day of salvation. You have delayed your decisions for too long. God wants you to leave the shameful trade of prostitution right away. No, ma. I can't possibly stop what I'm doing now. How do you expect me to fund for myself? In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus has provided a way out, Shadi. But you have rejected it. I don't need Jesus. <laughs> Especially not now that I can fund for myself. Shadi, you need Jesus more than you think. Material provision is not the primary reason for accepting the Lordship of Jesus. Have you ever thought of what awaits you after this life? Is it life eternal or everlasting damnation? Anything? Uh, uh I'll be there. <laughs> I'll join you right away. No, seriously, I'll be there in a jiffy. All right. Thank you. Bye. I have to go now, ma. I'll see you later. Thank you. Give me an heart attack. Uh uh. Yes, I, I mean. Wale. You men are so full of exaggeration, Joe. What is it again to do? Uh, well, um, it's on the issue we have been discussing for some weeks now. Hola, Wale. Don't tell me you're still on this marriage proposal thing. I've told you, we can only be friends. I'm not ready for marriage. I mean, 
look at me. Shade, Shade, why, why don't you consider me? How else do you want me to prove my love to you? I'm aware of your challenges and your past. I know you can only hear by use of a hearing device. I know you were into prostitution as a result of uh, poverty and lack. In fact, I met you in the trade. And I know you have nobody to care for you. And that is why I'm trying as much as I can to, to, to help you. I, I love you and I really want to marry you. This man wants to marry me despite his knowledge of my dirty life. Ah, you might later hate me for the same reason. But would, would Jesus be willing to accept me with this sordid life? Isn't it wise to marry Olawale than go to Jesus, whom I have no confidence that I will be accepted? Ah. Yes. Yes? Yes. Huh? Oh my God. Oh my God. Shall we? She must not be able to escape. Hold on from your hand. In the name of Jesus. Mama. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come and do it now. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now, now. You are, a, you are a very wicked woman. Eh? Eh? Oh. All you could say is welcome, sir. Eh? You cannot even ask me how my day was or why I have decided or rather why I'm coming on this late. I'm sorry, sir. It's because I didn't want to offend you. Eh? So you have classified me as, as a wild animal. Eh? Or a, or as a heartless white beast simply because I corrected you yesterday. No, sir. Yeah. Well, what else can one expect from a worthless deaf girl like you? Yes? How dare you look at me like that? No, I am not the worthless girl. Are you not the worthless girl? 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 How dare you look at me like that? Yeah? You worthless prostitute! Is it too much if I hop? If I hop, hop to train you? Eh? You are a rejected child with nobody to train you from, from childhood. And I decided to want to train you. Destitute, prostitute, death. Nonsense, useless, deaf girl. This man maltreats you this much, and you've kept silent all this while, Shadi. What can I say? You've warned me severally. I didn't listen. I'm merely reaping the reward of my disobedience. Yet, Jesus loves you, Shadi. You've suffered enough. 
give Jesus a chance so as to give you true peace and joy. Jeremiah 17:5 says, Curses are those who put their trust in mere humans, who rely on human strength and turn their hearts away from the Lord. It is true you earnestly desire help, but your expectation is towards men. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and He will give you rest. Hmm. Madam, even if I want to accept Jesus Christ, there's a major factor that, that makes it impossible. Hey, what can that be? Olawale. Uh, Olawale can't stand anything spiritual. Shade, don't be surprised to find the house in this state. I have moved all my belongings out of the house. Initially, when I met you, I thought I loved you. But after you moved into my house, I realized God never meant us to be together. Each time I see you, I remember you are deaf. Each time you leave the house, I remember you were once a prostitute. And I can't help suspecting that you might still be engaged in prostitution. In secret, now I have vacated the house for you and I have traveled abroad with my real hat drop. I'm happy we never truly married and there is no way we can even determine whether the child in your womb is truly mine. I pray that God will always help you. Goodbye. to teach me how to bring up my daughter. If my daughter has offended, I have every right as the father of that girl to deal with her whichsoever way I desire. That's too much. That's too much. What I'm saying is this. Discipline must have a human face. I mean, you don't kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer for goodness sake. Mm. To me, this is nothing but child abuse. <laughs> child abuse? I guess you have never come across the proverb that says, Spear the rod and spoil the child. If I spear the rod, I'm going to spoil that girl. That shouldn't make it or destroy the child. No. Discipline should be corrective, not destructive. That was rather too hard on that little child. He was rather too hard on her. <laughs> too bad. Mr. Headmaster, I do not blame you. And I do not blame your wife too. The two of you are talking the way you're talking because you have never been parents in your life. What did you just say? Yes. You do not have your own child because you're parents. You don't know what it takes to be a parent. Good day. Don't mind it, just take it easy. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> good day. Yes. Okay. We are good. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes. Um, we actually came to see if you can allow us to keep uh, Shadina at home. Mm, well, <clears throat> anyway, thank you. That's a good gesture. Um, unfortunately, I have taken a better decision. Um, my daughter now lives with her uncle. She's now with her uncle. Sir, can we get the description to the place, sir? Yes, uh, how to get to the place. And then your consent, please. Okay, consent. No need of consent. You can go and see her. You can go and see her there. Um, the way you get to uh, Odinjo, take a vehicle going to Foko. Then you get to Foko. find you. We wanted to adopt you since we have no child of our own. But on our way coming, the unexpected happened. There was an auto crash. Sorry. 